Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on tibial plateau fracture. The tibial plateau most commonly fractures following high energy trauma, from the impaction of the femoral condyle onto the tibial plateau. The lateral tibial plateau is more frequently fractured than the medial side. They often occur together with meniscal tear or ligament injury. For clinical features, patients will present following a history of trauma. They usually present with sudden onset pain in the affected knee, being unable to weight bear, and swelling of the knee. On examination, significant swelling will be evident, and tenderness over the medial or lateral aspects of the proximal tibia. With potential ligament instability, also check the neurovascular status of the patient. For investigations, the first-line investigation for a suspected plateau fracture is plain film radiographs, AP view and lateral view. CT scanning is needed in almost all cases. This picture shows an X-ray of knee, showing tibial plateau fracture. Tibial plateau fractures can be classified through the Schatzker classification. There are six types. Type 1, lateral split fracture. Type 2, lateral split and depressed fracture. Type 3, lateral pure depression fracture. Type 4, medial plateau fracture. Type 5, bicondylar fracture. Type 6, metaphysial diaphysial disassociation. Next, conservative management can be done in uncomplicated tibial plateau fractures, including no evidence of ligamentous damage, tibial subluxation, or articular step less than 2 mm. The patients can be treated with a hinged knee brace, and none are partial weight bearing for around 8 to 12 weeks, with ongoing physiotherapy and suitable analgesia. Whereas, operative management is required in some cases, such as in complicated tibial plateau fractures or any evidence of open fracture or compartment syndrome. Open reduction and internal fixation is the mainstay of most tibial plateau fractures. Postoperatively, a hinged knee brace is applied. External fixation with delayed definitive surgery is indicated in cases of significant soft tissue injury, polytrauma, and highly comminuted fractures, where an immediate ORIF may not be suitable. Complications include post-traumatic osteoarthritis. That's all for this video. Thank you.